and the buy a can mono as him can go chili as a long um because the upon a couple of seas gain a solar I talk about him around the year eastern is 24 whereby soon a with the new bundle posy but I'm a car you name in a eastern region and the whole Nigeria um because it is our if I would tell you no boss in Keta I had to go to Gaya beef when you get here Cobalo, where we drop all I comment you know if you know cello. Um, let's go ahead go see the Biafra agitation is not about Marzi, Nam de Cano, or Simon Epa. On our course, we did Biafra agitation, uh, not it's not about Nam de Cano or Marzi, Simon Epa. A gay beef. I guess here, Kabaro drop right your own comment if you change your alcohol, but stomach in there, you know. All right, over to you, sir. The court process to release Nam the canon is fended. So many negotiations are fended. So many letters that they have written from the House of Representatives, House of Senate to the presidency seems to be fended. But in the midst of all this fended process, the big masquerade has already started dancing. Today, Mr. Pitobi has ordered Tinumbu to release Namdekano. He asked for his release because he said that Namdekano has not done anything wrong regards to the agitation for the sovereign state of Biafra. He said that the Court of Competent Jurisdiction, which is a big court of Nigeria, had ordered the release of Namdekano before. Pitobi, during the 2019 presidential election, he was the running mate to Atiku Abubakar. Before the election, he himself and Atiku traveled to London to see Namdekano. Namdekano earlier declared that there will not be a nation in the southeast. But after the consultation with Peter B and so much deliberation, he allowed the people of the southeast to vote for Atiku. So there has been this synergy, and Peter B is one of the Igbo politicians who have never criticized the activities of Namdekano. Well, what he said today, how is it going to take effect? Do you think that Tinumbu will hear to what Mr. Peter B said? The truth is this absolutely yes. Because when you are talking about a political negotiation to release Nam the canon, you should not remove someone like Pito B in the picture. Because as far as Nigeria is concerned, Pito B should be or is the political leader of people from the southeast. He is the number one person that is known for his uh, political activities, the most popular and the most powerful as far as southeast is concerned. So let us go step by step to understand how Pito B asked Tinumbu to release Nam the canon why he said so and what will come out of it this article is from shara reporters and it reads p2b asked tinumbu government to obey court release ipob leader namdekano this article was written on june 29 2024 and it reads peter obi the presidential candidate of the labor party has called on president bola tinumbu to release namdekano the detained leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob along with other imprisoned freedom fighters Obi stated that there is no justification for the ongoing detention of the IPOB leader, especially since he has been acquitted by the courts. The 2023 presidential candidate, while addressing journalists on Saturday in Onesha, Anambra State, urged leaders to intensify efforts in addressing insecurity. He warned that without the immediate action, the nation could spiral into failure. According to him, I don't see any reason for his continuous detention especially as the court have granted him bail the government must obey the court the rule of law is an intricate asset that we must cherish and live with i use this opportunity to plead with the federal government and ask them to ensure that all those who are in similar condition are released and discussed we are in a democracy and we should not be doing things that are arbitrary and not within the law he explained that with the increasing insecurity in the country, Nigeria was gradually moving towards becoming a failed state unless urgent action was taken to salvage the situation. The primary work of the government is the security of lives and property. It is the foundation on which people can live in any nation because no one can stay in an insecure place. It is worrisome what is happening in Nigeria with the news of killings, abduction, and other vices that have made Nigeria one of the most insecure places on earth. In fact, it is leading to a failed nation. 
I commend the government for their efforts so far, but there is a need to do more, and all leaders must come together to join hands and fight this. In the Southeast, there is a need for the governors to come together to be able to tackle it. Even in economic agenda, I want to see the Southeast governors work closely more. We want to see them come together and also bring together other groups in the zone. I am against riot or disruption of government access and property because it is still scarce resources that we are going to use to repair them. But I am not against peaceful protest. Peaceful protest is allowed, but it must be for a reason and not the personal interest of someone or some people to justify a particular interest. It must be properly articulated and properly directed. I recall when people said they were protesting police brutality and I said to them, no, let's rather deal with the leadership. If we have good leadership, their agent can be bad. The problem is leadership. If the leaders are competent, have the capacity and do the right thing, their agents will follow their examples. I want to use this opportunity to say that all those who are being here because of one protest or the other should be released. Whether it is freedom fighter, answers protesters, or even because of freedom of speech, be it journalists, let them all be released immediately. We are in a democratic country, and people have the right under the Constitution to express themselves freely. They also have the right to peacefully protest, and we must listen to them. We must listen to those who say they are not happy. That is why it is a democratic nation. We should stop acting dictatorial and behave as if this is not a democratic country, he added. Now, let's talk. For me, I believe that Peter B did well for, you know, weighing in to call for the release of Namdekano. And so many other people have been detained unjustly in the country. But it doesn't stop there. I really want Peter B to put more action. I want Peter B to put more move. It doesn't end as speaking. I know that Peter B is someone that people respect his words. Nigeria respects his words. When he speaks about a matter, they take action to do that matter because he controls a lot of people. So I really want Peter B to make a move. To make a move to make sure that Canon is released. If Peter B wants to prove more to the people of the Southeast that he truly loves them and he cares about their security, I think uh, he has started the move and this is the time to prove it to the end. So anything someone, you know, you begin something, you must try to finish it to the end. I don't know how so many people will think or feel about this, but um, I check about P2B's activities. I have never seen, you know, where P2B really condemn ordinary agitation for Biafra or ordinary IPOB agitation. If there is any crisis, any criminal sin, that is only where P2B will speak and condemn it. But as far as the Biafra agitation is concerned, I've never seen where P2B condemn it. I've never seen that. If you have seen it, you can equally send it to me. But as far as I'm concerned, I know that I have not seen anything like that. So, I think uh, since he has not been speaking before, this is a new voice, this is a new move. And I think his call for the release of Nambekano will be respected by the federal government. So, I do not undermine so many people who have been agitating for Nambekano to be released, including myself. Everybody wants him to be released. So both the House of Representatives, especially the House of Rep member representing Namdekano, uh, Agwacha, something like that. He has been trying, you know, trying his best, not being to make sure Namdekano will be released. And uh, so many House of Rep members who wrote data, the likes of Edwin Kleck and so on and so forth. The Niger Data group who gave ultimatum that is going to expire this weekend. So there are a lot of people who want Namdekano to be released. But Peter B made a very good point, saying that Court had earlier released this man. So this country, if we people say that we are in a democratic regime, you should act as one within a democratic regime. So what he said is absolutely correct and uh, perfect. So let me know what you think about what Peter B also said. Longer, Nam De Kanu remain in prison. The more the cause he is fighting for is being flourished by his own detention. Um, Tunubu is a president that came from the trenches. He is one of those who fought for democracy and freedom. And I believe, if not for the fact that he went to exile, he will have ended up in prison with us in the 90s. 
then someone of his own stature cannot be lectured about democracy or human rights because we are all in the trenches fighting. So my expectation is that the problem cannot be solved by keeping the leader of the struggle perpetually in prison. You don't solve the problem. You can only solve the problem if you discuss the problem. I put the question to the governor during our media chat. I said, can you say with finality that the sit-at-home syndrome has been defeated? Hmm. The governor initially didn't answer the question, and I put it back to him. I said, I asked you a definitive question, sir. <laughs> can you say with finality that the sit at home syndrome has been defeated, especially in the hinterland. Again, he tried to show me that, yes, progress has been made. Didn't you see people moving around? Mm -hmm. So I was worried because the Biafra Day celebration is a day like no other. But where a group that has been proscribed is telling people to go on holiday, the question you ask is where did they derive the land legitimacy from yeah. to tell people, no, today don't go out. We are celebrating, we are uh, remembering our fallen heroes and all that. To make matters worse in this matter, Simon Epa, on his part, said the seat at home is not going to be for one day, that it will be from the 29th to the 31st of May. Now, you can imagine keeping people in their homes, mm. telling people not to go out for all those days. How would, they, how would people feed? How would they survive? They, staying indoors for a people who are very enterprising, who are no security, a security post in Aba killing five soldiers and six civilians during a shootout. Your thoughts? I think it was, it, was, it was one of the most cowardly acts that has been carried out recently. It's quite sad because it's like a, uh, one year down the line, we still have the security challenges. But what bothers me here is that they came in three tinted SUVs, Prado. Everybody knows how much a Prado cost. That should tell you how much these people, are, how they're being funded. While the three SUVs were approaching, they, had, they also had ground support. So there was... Failure of intelligence, because at that Obiakaba's junction, you know, Bingwa, local government area where this attack took place. I heard the junction is, is a wide junction that they could have been able to tell. And when you see three SUVs coming at the time when you have talked about sit at home, I thought there should have been more of intelligence. As sad as it is, but it was a surprise attack. And at this point in time, the National Intelligence Agency have to sit up, because Simon Ekba is becoming more of a, a cog in the wheel of progress for the five southeastern states. Mm. We have, some of us have said that uh, holding down the Mazin and the Kanu uh, has been uh, negative because it has given cause to raise a Simon Ekwa who, who is not preaching the same sermon as Nam Bikanu was preaching, who is preaching violence. He's in Finland. I wonder what, they are, what the Nigerian embassy in Finland is doing and the Nigerian foreign minister is doing at this a material point in time. He goes on Twitter, he, 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 he calls out this uh, violent act, he goes on propaganda, he says he's carrying out referendum and they have been 30 million votes. Apparently, this, is, this attack was not done by IPOP. This was done by Simon Epper's boys. And he, he posted it, probably posted it on Twitter. If you notice, he has been, he has been, uh, he has been number one on, the tweet, on, on, on trends for, for some time now on Twitter. And he's enjoying all the, all the media attention. And, and, you know, that gathers him more support, gathers him more finances. And these are the finances that he's using. You know, he actually does empowerment programs. Mm. Simon Ekwa, he sends funds to these uh, people who actually also see him 
in the quest of, uh, of being a benefactor. So the, the government has to do something about it. Yes, if not, the South East is going to continue to be a, a right. war theater. And one thing I must also point yeah, out. Briefly. The military says they're going to go after them, but this is a guerrilla warfare. It's quite difficult to get people in a guerrilla warfare. Yeah, that's why we're warning that it has to be done within the ambit of the law. Um, but, I mean, you, you, you make a, some very good points there. And, and of course, the, the Nigerian government can't go to Finland and, and um, sort of try and um, extract Simon Epper from there. But all they can do is, is try and get the cooperation of the Finnish government. And the Finns have said that they've... I mean, they tried at one point to pick him up. They said that um, there just didn't seem to be any evidence directly linking him to what was going on here. But let me come to you, uh, Abba Kaka. And I apologize, I was calling you Abba Kaba, uh, but somebody had, had, had written your name that way um, and forwarded <laughs> it to me. So I do apologize. But, I mean, Kenny Okolobo was, was talking about this and the linkage to Namdi Kanu. Does all this make it less likely because the name IPOB is associated with this that Namdi Kanu will be released anytime soon or does it strengthen the argument which he himself makes that in his absence the group is running amok but if he was freed the reason for their violent protest because we need to look at uh, the causes of the problem in the southeast we need to look at uh, what actually caused these very problems. And I could see that um, when the people of indigenous people of Biafra started, it was a very peaceful movement. In all Namdi has, Namdikani has done in the process of sensitizing people for cessation, he never used any gun. He never used any form of weapon. But unfortunately, this process has been hijacked. Because people have hijacked it, and especially miscreants. Even when the young man had said openly, publicly, and even in writing, that look, I am not in support of anybody maiming and killing anybody in the Southeast. But the likes of uh, Simon Eber could not see any reason with that. Okay. So now that you mentioned Simon, Simon Eber, he's somewhere in, um, in Europe living his life and dishing out orders from that part of the world to people that live in the southeast and mostly he's being obeyed or he has people that carry out his orders why do you think the southeast governors have not done something about simon epa specifically obviously the man is powerful and people are listening to him on the ground well the southeast governors could uh, appeal to the attorney general or the president because the law is very clear, what the federal government ought to do is to seek a way to extract the Southeast. All right, a political solution you say, but um, it's not only Unambicano that in time past has found the flames of IPOB, but you and I know that Simon Ekwa, all right, regardless of, of what, uh, of of what they kind of trying to bring a little bit of sense into all that has been happening. Uh, we, we've had Simon Nekba actually finding the embers and actually probably stoking people to go out there and continue what they've been doing. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think uh, Simon, Nekba, Simon Nekba is even working with uh, the IPOP. Uh, if he's serious, he should come back to Nigeria and uh, begin to ask his people to lead. You cannot, you know, uh, stay outside Nigeria and directing misguided people to be committing heinous crime. Uh, but and uh, uh, I also Mr. believe Jeff, uh, that me government to should enter. Permit me to come in here. Yes, a lot of people have said that. Uh, yes. We know he's still in Finland. Uh, but it doesn't change the fact that he's a voice that several people especially those in the South East, listen to. So, saying that he should come, that probably he should come back, well, you know, that's, it, probably, that's probably not a very, very realistic uh, move, but he's still a voice that people listen to, especially those in the South East. 
Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a voice. It's a voice, if you remember what I said. It's a voice to misguided elements. It's not a voice to reasonable people. Uh, I, I can be listening to him. Uh, most people cannot be listening. But some of these people who have been brainwashed will be listening to him. But he's there, enjoying himself. But I also believe that this time, government should enter into negotiations with uh, the country where he's operating for and see whether he can be repatriated and to enable him face trial. Because uh, what he's doing is worse than what uh, Nandekani was doing. So he should be brought back for, uh, for, for trial. So what is the way forward? You know, how do we prevent this from happening again, whereby we have non-state actors attacking our military personnel? How do we stop it, not just in the southeast, but in all parts of the country? You see, the, the, in all parts of the country, uh, for, for, for instance, if, you, if I talk of the southeast, that people should come out to volunteer information. The people are scared. They are afraid. They cannot give out information because these people are living within the same people. So our security agencies should intensify efforts to flush out uh, these elements from their hideouts. And once that is done, because I see, I, I was watching um, uh, a video on Arise this morning. Uh, where they, were, they were parading themselves. In DSS, called a meeting of all the leaders of the Southeast and said, this is what Namde Kano said, that he is not part of this. Yet, every Monday, what happens is this. A few miscreants, and I use the word advisedly, come out, shoot and kill one or two people, and run away, and video it, and send across the whole of the southeast, and everybody is now scared. The governors we met, the, uh, all of us in the National Assembly we have met, everybody has condemned it. I need the Senate to know that there is no one in the southeast except the criminals who support this seat at home. They are Modus operandi is simple. It's just terror. I have called the market leaders in Abia, and I said, you can not continue to stay away. And they told me that the people have threatened to burn their markets at night if they don't stay away. So this is beyond the citizenry coming out to just say we don't accept it. Because what they have done, is to use terror tactics to intimidate a whole region. And we have had meetings with the DSS, and all that the DSS has told us is, listen, these are just a few people. They will come out in one, one road. They will find somebody just driving along on his um, way to doing anything, shoot him. And then they will say it is because of seat at home. Take his car away, go and keep it in their den, and let her go and sell it. So these are nothing but criminals. So I support this uh, motion, and especially the matter concerning someone who is a dual citizen of Nigeria, and Finland, staying in Finland, giving orders, and in fact, giving, I will say, orders that you don't understand why people should accept it here. But then, criminals will always find a reason to do what they want to do. I have also had interactions with the Finnish uh, 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 embassy, and in fact, the United Nations uh, uh, head in Nigeria, who is from Finland, and what she told me was it is a government-to-government -government interaction that will lead to a resolution of this. Because uh, as a citizen of Finland, 
that he has a right to express his uh, opinion. But I can tell you, my dear colleagues, each and every one of us has suffered greatly from what is happening in the Southeast. They attacked Senator Carl when he was doing campaign. They attacked me. It has nobody. They have not tried to intimidate. But we and by a Kenapen Muno, a de Kunusibe, Neso Equalai, Nia Mene Rabo, the Eastern is twenty four. I see one at Chukoka, be my other own chain and of no four, a de Kunusuena, a Sura Nira, a de Cosi de Una Nugunu, Kayabi face where but a Wakuno, Una Nugunu, one Nawaka Punira, a Kifu de Kubastamaka, Yabi and Dani Nugasi, Nine, one Nawakugasi, a Bastamaka open grazing beer. Um, Kabaroke drop all your own comment on the comment section below. Thank you. And also stay tuned at Eastern News 24.